Wow, that is a massive BMS. Let's unbox this. So it looks like uh, we got some marine terminals and documentation. Something I love about Golden Mate is you never get the same thing that everyone else is doing. You can tell that they're really trying to innovate in their space. And we've got some really nice terminal covers here that to cover not only the, the screw, but the, the metal plate below that, which is great. Nice handle. Got an easy way to connect uh, the, with their support. The side is identical to the other one. And we've got some initial specs just over here on this side, which I love to see. Now we have a recommended charge current of 20 amps with a max of 50 and a max discharge current of 100 amps. It does have the app, so let's uh, get that. Up at the very top in the center there, you've got uh, your percentage, which we're at 77% state of charge at the moment. And then we've got uh, our voltage and then our current and then the power in watts. We have yet to do a full cycle, uh, so it does not know what its rated energy capacity is at this point. It is saying that it will be full probably in an hour, 1.2 hours approximately. You can see that we're charging or discharging. That little thing will light up depending on what state it's in. And then you've just got uh, the temperature readings uh, from the temperature sensors. And that's all. There's no additional pages or anything uh, to this app. All right, welcome to the high amperage testing. Let's see what uh, this Golden Mate uh, battery is able to put out. It's rated for 100 amps of continuous output, but uh, how quickly, if at all, does the overcurrent protection kick in? That's what we're going to find out here. Now, this does have Bluetooth and a built in app, but uh, we're going to utilize this Victron Smart Shunt to measure uh, the current going out of it. This is also my largest uh, inverter that I've got, it's a 3,080 watt inverter. And I've got two very heavy loads uh, right here, a heat gun and uh, the space heater. And uh, we should be able to push at least the inverter to its limits. And uh, hopefully we can get a shutdown on this battery. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, shunt app up here while we test this Golden Mate battery. Right, we're going to first turn on this heat gun right here. Let's do that. You can see that that in and of itself is pulling close to, actually, sometimes just over 100 amps. It uh, cycles off and on a little bit to, to maintain heat. Let's, uh, let's push it harder. Let's go ahead and kick this space heater on. 185 amps, 200 amps. Oh, and there we go. We got a shutdown. That's a very fast restart. That is great to see. Wow, good job, Golden Mate. Did you guys see how fast that was? That was all in real time. So it shut off, and then, I don't know, two, three seconds later, immediately turned back on. Very, very impressive. So that's really what you want to see. You want to see a battery that uh, can give you a little extra oomph uh, beyond what it's rated for. Uh, but uh, still be able to shut itself down and protect itself in an overcurrent state, uh, which this did absolutely beautifully. And I loved how it self-reset. And it's very impressive with how fast this one reset. I was shocked by that. Uh, definitely the fastest one I've ever gotten my hands on. So that's really good if you're using this for like a trolling motor or something like that and you overload it, uh, you'll be back up and running in a matter of seconds, not minutes. Let's do heavy surge testing on this Golden Mate Sirius 100B battery. I've got it uh, hooked up to this huge 3000 watt low frequency inverter from Renogy that can handle surges super, super well. I've got the, uh, the power wire separated here so that uh, we can get a inrush reading on the AC side and then we will calculate based on what that inrush is, how many amps this battery had pulled from it. If you follow this cord, it is connected up to my gas powered clothes dryer. This has been the death of many a power station and battery. The reason it has such a heavy surge is going from zero to 100 basically with a load of wet heavy clothes takes a huge amount of power to get that going. So let's see how this Golden Mate uh, battery handles that. And I'll throw the app here just uh, so we can see if it uh, shows anything, but uh, we're gonna start in three, two, one. Ooh, it struggled, I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, the app responds too slowly for us to see, but uh, let's see what uh, the inrush was recorded out here. 26.89 amps. That is a lot of juice. If you look here on the inverter, you can see it's outputting 120 volts. So if we just do some simple math, 26.89 times 120. So that dryer required 3,226 watts to get going. If we look at uh, the voltage here on the app, we're at about uh, 12.89. So if we divide that by 12.89, that means we pulled uh, just over 250 amps of surge from that battery and it handled it, no problem. That's what we love to see. We love to see overcurrent protections in place, just like we saw in the high amperage testing, but we like to see that they're not quite fat, so fast that it can't start a really heavy surge load like we just saw. So Golden Mate has this uh, programmed perfectly. All right, let's do a capacity test on this Golden Mate battery. I've got uh, the Victron Smart Shunt uh, hooked up right here. And if you take a look, I've got everything zeroed out on that. We'll be going through this uh, 3000 watt inverter and uh, we'll be dumping power into another battery through this charge verter. So let's go ahead and get this started. Turn the inverter on and then let's go ahead and turn on the charge verter here. 
It's a little over a 0.2C rate. Uh, unfortunately, this is as low as I can get the charge verter to go. So we are at a 270, 280 watt-ish range. But uh, let's see how much uh, capacity that uh, renders us after this battery depletes here. All right, this Golden Mate uh, battery just uh, completed a capacity test and we pulled 97 amp hours. Now, I was a little above a 0.2C rate, uh, but I would expect that to be a little higher, personally. Uh, that may not be the case. I'm gonna run one more test. All right, second capacity test here. Got everything zeroed out in the Victron Smart Shunt app, and we're off and away. Okay, we just finished the second capacity test, and uh, you can see we are uh, much closer to where we're supposed to be. We're at 99 amp hours. Just need to cycle it once and uh, give it a good uh, recharge, and uh, we're up to where we should be. Good job, Golden Mate. All right, we just got this Golden Mate uh, battery out of the uh, freezer. You can probably see the, uh, the frost and what have you on the outside here. We're going to test the low temperature charging protection. We've got this charger, and it's in standby mode with the blinking green light. When we plug it in, that's going to change to a red light, and it should just be on there for a few seconds and then turn back to green, and uh, this battery should reject the charger. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, immediately uh, shut down. So that is great to see. And you might be able to see here on the app that uh, we have an error. It's in under temperature charging protection. So fantastic job, Golden Mate. Let's see if we can take a quick look inside this Golden Mate battery. There's these little uh, caps that uh, conceal screws. I think it'd be pretty easy to open this up quick. All right, I think we got it. Let's uh, let's take a look here. That is a massive BMS. So this little thing right here is a rubber gasket that uh, goes up in this lid to uh, help make it water resistant. And then we've got uh, two 8-gauge wire. I don't know if you'll be able to read that or not, but that's definitely a, a massive BMS. There's its uh, sticker. Let's see if I can see the cells at all. Mo most everything that I've tested of Golden Mates uh, use cylindrical cell, and they look very, very cool. So let's see if we can see those at all. So th after they've uh, tightened down these screws that uh, hold the pack in place, well, every screw, even up here on the lid and stuff, they've coated it in this funny glue-like coating. So, I mean, it's nice, you know, and these they've marked, so it's a good way to make sure that, uh, you know, you've gone through and uh, torqued everything and uh, tightened everything down, but makes it difficult to uh, remove this uh, much further. However, it's a little hard to see, but if you look right down in here, you can see that uh, there are indeed cylindrical blue cells. So, much like their Orion 1000 battery, as well as their UPS units, um, they're using their really nice cylindrical lithium iron phosphate cells which I really, really like. Anyway, to true Golden Mate fashion, it is very well built. That's why Golden Mate uh, has my pick of uh, favorite batteries at this point, because they're really trying to be innovative, and it's not just a carbon copy of you know other budget batteries out there. This is this is looking a little definitely more premium than uh, a lot of other batteries out there. Guys, you really won't be disappointed with Golden Mate. As you saw from the test, they've really got it dialed in here, especially the BMS. It can give you the surge load that you need, but then it also has very good tolerances for overcurrent protection and uh, ensures that you know causing a, a risk uh, with drawing too much current you know, on your cables and uh, different things like that. The low temperature charging protection works super well. It's one of the fastest triggers of protection that uh, I've ever seen for low temperature charging protection. I also like that they use cylindrical cells in their products. It does make the product just a little heavier than uh, some of the other kinds of cells, but I like the fact that if for some reason one were to get damaged or something, you know, it's only a small cylindrical cell that is venting and causing problems instead of one of those giant prismatic cells. I love that it has app control. The only thing that would make this even better is if it had a screen. But wait a second, there's a solution for that. If you want a battery that's basically identical to that, but with this huge, gorgeous screen, then you want to get the Orion 1000 model. It also has these uh, integrated handles here instead of the, uh, the strap type handle. And a slightly beefier BMS. This one can go up to, I believe if I remember right, 150 amps continuous discharge. So a little more, uh, you know, heavy duty. But this is definitely my favorite 12 volt 100 amp hour battery that uh, I've ever tested. But this one is uh, up there as well. But if you don't need those extra features and you're just trying to save a little bit of money, this is definitely the way to go because you get uh, the benefits that uh, Goldmade is known for without uh, necessarily the price tag of that Orion 1000. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with uh, what uh, I've evaluated on this? Do you like what Goldmate has to offer? Leave that down in the comments so I can hear from you. I always say the smartest people are in my comments section and I absolutely love hearing your thoughts and observations. I'm going to leave a link to this as well as a discount code uh, that you guys can check out in the description and in a pinned comment. And uh, if what I do is of value to you, uh, please let me know by giving us a like, consider subscribing to the channel, commenting, and sharing with your friends. 100% free for you to do, but benefits the channel tremendously. Sure appreciate all of you. We'll catch y'all next time.